Hey guys, DJ Iron Hulk here. Sorry that I haven't uh, been streaming, just been having uh, personal problems with family, uh, you know. Uh, so I hope everyone is staying safe and everything. I just want to do a quick video to basically defend Austin Evans. If you guys do not follow him on YouTube, he's a one of those, you know, tech YouTube channels. Uh, he's got like 5 million subscribers, I believe. But anyways, long story short, the man got the new PS5, right? Uh, and basically, all they really did was make it lighter by, he said about 300 grams, right? Here it takes more or less, some, some something like that, right? And everyone is attacking this man because they're basically calling him an Xbox fanboy, this and that, this and that, this and that. And, uh, okay, uh, also, the reason why I'm showing the PS5 is because, well... Um, as you guys can see, Xbox Series X right there, PS5, Xbox Series X, PS5, okay, so I don't want to see nobody saying, oh, well, you're, you're a fanboy, bruh, I have both, okay, calm, calm down, okay, anyways, um, I'm going to show you guys the difference, okay, all right, all right, this is the original PS5, okay, look at all that heat shield, okay, look at it. This is the original one that came out last year. This is the one that he's saying that could possibly have problems down the road. Do you not see the difference in the heat shield? Like, look at the difference. This is the original. <laughs> this is the new one. Like, do you guys see a difference in why he would say this one possibly could have a problem down the road? And everyone that's had the first PS4 ps4 slim and the original ps4 pro knows those things get hot really quick they're noisy as hell and they sound like jet engines okay this is what the man's telling you okay is he right to say that this one's still better 100 percent. is there a difference in performance no there isn't but there's a difference in the console overheating so therefore this one over time will stay cleaner and quieter this one won't. Cause like, look, look at that. Like, look, like it's a third the size. And I know why Sony did it. It's to save some money. And like, you know, obviously, everybody wants to make money off their stuff. But even scalpers, from what he said in his video just now that I'm watching, that they're charging a, a bigger premium for this one, just because of the heat shield. Yo, scalpers, get a real job, bro. <laughs> Like, seriously. Oh, my God. People, stop buying scalped consoles because, like, this is getting ridiculous. But, yeah, anyways, long story short, guys, um, it makes sense. Like, come, come on, common sense. You have less metal to protect your hardware, your software, the, the chipset, everything, and it gets too hot. What is going to happen? You're going to have the same problems like the PS4, the PS4 Slim, and the base, uh, sorry, the first PS4 Pro had. Example, Xbox 360, Red Ring of Death. That console was way too small. They put too much, little bit of shit in there, and it overheated, and that's why it happened. So, why are they following Microsoft's bullshit from Xbox 360 days? And as I said, I get it. You're trying to save money, but there's a big difference. And sorry to be going back and forth, guys. It's just, this man literally is getting attacked by all these fanboys of Sony which is fine you're concerned just don't buy this one that's it or wait until they revise it again make it smaller uh, a ps5 slim i don't know man but like this is ridiculous i like i don't understand why people are attacking people like seriously there is more important things going on in the world uh there's a pandemic people are dying every day people are getting sick you guys really want to attack this YouTuber because he's telling you his honest opinion, even though Digital Foundry has basically said the same thing, and they're in the tech space and have been in the tech space longer than him? Like, if you look at the side-by-side -side comparison, this is off my 4K TV, okay? Like, this is, this is both consoles, what he did on his video, to compare. This is the original one that came out November 12th, 2020. This is from last week when he got it. Okay, like, if you guys do not see a difference in the heat shield and don't see that there could possibly be a problem down the road, 
like it's like building a PC. If you do not have the right amount of heat sink, fans, and everything for a big beefy upgraded computer what or a PC, what do you think is gonna happen? It's gonna overheat. And then what happens? You lose performance. So he's just saying down the road, this one could possibly have problems. Doesn't mean it's gonna have performance problems, but it could get noisier, hotter, like collect like what like look at look at that man. But anyways, guys, I'm not trying to make this video long as hell. I just want to say, please do not be one of those people that make a big deal and blame someone when he's just giving everyone a heads up what the difference is. Like, he even said that. Like, I don't understand. And to be honest, I still think he's a bigger Sony guy than Xbox. Because whenever he gets a P... Like, what was it? He did a video on the PS5. This man legitimately did a video... Of when they ordered it off of uh, what was it, Wish, right? And they paid a premium for it too. It was like twelve hundred bucks. They saved a hundred dollars, right? And then the the person scammed them, and the man was mad because like he really, really wanted to get the PS Five. I believe it was the digital. So like, nah, man, he's not an Xbox fanboy. He's not a Sony fanboy. He said he loves to play games just like everybody else, just like I do. Like, come on, PS Five right there, Ultra Instinct Goku. What does that tell you? You know what I'm saying? Then I have Vegeta, Super Saiyan 3. Something he's never ever shown. <laughs> you know what I mean? I love playing video games. You guys know this. Anyways, I just want to say, guys, the proof is right in front of you. You know, whether you're new to the channel, old to the channel, you want to leave a hate comment, you know, keep that shit off my damn channel. I'm just showing you the proof that Xbox and PlayStation, okay, it'd be like, Microsoft doing a slimmer this and then it gets hot more hotter because they're, they're doing the same thing look like look how thick this thing is like it's a heavy bitch and so is this one and granted they're trying to make money as I said I get it I'm being repetitive right now and it's annoying um, but at the end of the day um, I, I would have just left it until they could revise the console to make it smaller slimmer and then done something like this because if you can get the chipset smaller with the heat shield and everything like it makes more sense but they didn't change anything other than that that's it just so they can start making a profit off the console which i get it everyone needs money i get it i get it but <clears throat> it makes no sense they're doing the ps4 pro thing all over again they made three different versions where <laughs> basically the first two were basically like this and then the final one kind of went to something like this and what I mean by that is it was quieter it didn't overheat as much <clears throat> and it has way less problems that's the PS4 Pro I have the newest version you know my buddy Abzilla416 check him out on Twitch if you guys are on Twitch show him some love uh, when he had the PS4 Pro his was noisy as hell sometimes and the game that made it really 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 loud was dead by deadlight and sometimes it would even turn off his console because it was basically this type of shit compared to this type of shit like it not a big difference but not like this but similar and i know a lot of people you a lot of you guys have the base ps4 still ps4 slim ps4 pro and i hear you guys streaming all the time with that jet engine you know who you guys are i'm not gonna say names but y'all know who the hell you are <laughs> but anyways long story short I love you guys. I will try to um, stream very soon. If you guys even care about that anymore, I don't even know. Uh, like I said, just been going through, through some personal family things. When I stream, I'll explain. We're just waiting for everything to happen that we just started today and going forward. And hopefully that negative turns back into a positive. Okay? So anyways, guys, I love you guys. Have a great day. Stay safe and just just stay safe guys don't be one of these pendejos that freaking <laughs> attack a youtuber telling the truth about something and calling him a fanboy i'm not a fanboy i'm a gamer okay i play on everything the only reason why i don't have the nintendo switch is it's not worth what they're charging i'm sorry i live in canada these suckers are charging uh like 400 bucks still like get the hell out of here sorry as I said, I have the video literally paused, watching it right now. 
and you guys just suck. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, have a good day. I love you guys. Stay safe. And hopefully I see you guys soon, whether it be on Twitch, YouTube, or whatever. I just wanted to, you know, just show you guys what the, the big difference is. Because these guys are literally attacking this man. Twitter, you name it. And calling him a fanboy. Which, if the man's a fanboy, who the hell cares? It's his life. It's his money. But the man's a tech specialist. Like, what the hell? He knows what the hell he's talking about. Common sense. Freaking idiots. Anyways, I love you guys. If you're new, please subscribe, like, comment, share. Stay safe. Much love, guys. And just play games and have fun, guys, and stay safe. <sighs> Anyways, talk to you guys later.